Millions of years before man set foot on the Australian continent, the landscape was dominated by huge beasts. There were giant goannas, the order of six metres in length. There were huge gargantuan birds, the largest that ever walked on the planet, came from Australia at this time, the dromonithids or thunderbirds. We had a whole range of large animals, a bunch of giant kangaroos and huge wombats the size of small cars. And at, at that time, it was kill or be killed, and it was pretty well cutthroat. At the top of the food chain was a vicious killer. Much of what scientists knew about this creature, however, was simply speculation. I have absolutely no doubt that an animal the size and bulk of Phylacoleo could have pulled down much larger animals, bigger than itself, like a, a giant wombat, Fascolonis, the size of a, a small car, or giant herbivorous kangaroos. That's the sort of creature that would have been fodder for Thylacoleo. The picture of a remarkable creature is beginning to emerge. A creature so unusual, it has no close relative in today's animal world. This is one of the most fascinating mammals I think it's ever been discovered. Um, it's an animal that's full of paradoxes. There's nothing quite like it exists anywhere else in the world. Thylacoleo's huge premolar was first seen in jawbone fragments more than a century ago. But only now can the power of this hunter be clearly understood. This huge single cutting tooth here, or premolar tooth, and this large premolar tooth, cutting premolar tooth up here, are unprecedented in the mammalian world. The force of Thylacoleo's bite was immense. Its jaw muscles were so powerful that it could outbite every known mammal, living or dead, including the extinct saber-toothed tiger. You'll notice when I put the shearing blades together here, they are like a pair of converging crescents. So whatever piece of meat or bone is caught within those converging crescents is sheared perfectly, just like an industrial guillotine or a pair of pruning shears. A creature at the end of its own evolutionary lineage. But my perceptions at this moment uh, are of a opportunist, carnivore scavenger that hunted at night, probably operated in uh, woody shrublands. I wouldn't want to have been a leaf-eating kangaroo with one of these guys around. Um, I would imagine uh, that he operated on his own, probably uh, sneak within very close range of the prey and then leap at it. Now either leap directly at it and grasp it uh, with those big claws, maybe slash at it with the big claws, maybe leap onto its back and sever the spinal cord with the incisors, and then just, just sit down and shear off great lumps of flesh. Thylacoleo carnifex, the marsupial lion, the lost predator from Australia's past, will never walk this way again. But the footprints it has left behind will continue to build the big picture of life on this planet for many years to come. Well, if you, if you pause for a moment and think about Australia, what is Australia's great heritage? Australia's great heritage is its flora and its fauna. And its marsupial fauna is absolutely unique. And this is the biggest marsupial carnivore that ever lived on this continent. And this animal was around at about the time that the first humans ever entered Australia.